Hi! In this tutorial, we'll discuss how you can share your prototypes with others. Sharing your prototypes allows you to have others test your prototype and send you valuable feedback. Let's get started. You can share your prototype in three different ways. On each project in the dashboard, under More, you can select Manage Share Links. Alternatively, you can click the Share button at the top of the editor. Otherwise, you can click Share at the bottom right of the Player. All three options will bring up the same sharing window. When you click Share Project, you're given a share link. Click the link to copy it and send it out to anyone you want. In most cases, this is as much as you need to do. The automatically generated link allows anyone who has the link to preview the latest version of your prototype. We'll see how we can change that in a bit. Anyone who clicks the link on their desktop will review your prototype in their browser. Anyone who opens the link on their iOS or Android device will be prompted to download the native ProtoIO app. You can customize your sharing options by clicking Settings. On the left, you can see a screenshot of your prototype. Under that, you can see your project title as it will appear to anyone who receives the link of your prototype. Changing this title won't affect the actual title of your project. Below, you get a summary of whether you are sharing a live version or a snapshot and the security settings of your share link. Proto.io keeps track of how long your project has been shared for and how many visitors and views it's had. At the bottom, you can choose to pause sharing, making it unavailable to anyone who has the share link until you choose to resume sharing. You can select Change Link to get a new share link for your project in case it gets into the wrong hands, for example. This will invalidate the previous link. You can choose to delete the share link if you want to stop sharing permanently. However, this will delete the share link stats. Now let's take a look at the sharing options at your disposal. You can choose to share a live version of your project where every change you make is visible each time you click Save in the editor. Alternatively, you can share a snapshot of your project as it is in its current state. You can update the snapshot whenever you want without having to create a new share link. Under Collaboration, you can enable comments to receive feedback on your prototype. Under Preview Settings, you can choose to enable or disable some additional options that users will get when they preview your prototype, both in their browser and the Proto.io app. You can choose to hide or show the screen browser. This is the area on the right-hand side of the web player. A similar area exists in the native Proto.io app. When a user taps on a non-interactive area on the desktop player and the Proto.io app, all interaction areas are highlighted using hotspots. You can choose to hide hotspots by default so that interaction areas are not highlighted. Users can toggle whether interaction areas are highlighted or not. You can disable this by setting Enable Hotspots Toggle to Off. Next, we take a look at who can access your prototype under the Share With tab. By default, anyone with the link will be able to preview your prototype. For additional protection, you can choose to password protect your share link. Alternatively, you can invite reviewers to view your prototype. Reviewers are users who have Proto.io login privileges. They can create an account when you share your project with them if they don't already have one. You can add existing reviewers by name by selecting them from the drop-down list. You can also invite new reviewers by email. In this case, you have the option of sending an email invitation to the added reviewers. The Customize Message feature allows you to add a custom message to your email invitation. You can also embed your prototype to your website. To embed a prototype to a website, you need to make sure that sharing is enabled to anyone with the share link and password protection is disabled. You can customize the dimensions of your prototype as you want it to appear on the desired web page. You can also enable side buttons and choose their color theme, dark or light. Side buttons include options such as Open Project in a New Window, Refresh, and Rotate. Let's copy the embed code and paste it here to see what an embedded prototype will look like. Under the User Testing tab, you'll get share links that can be used in external user testing services with which Proto.io works closely. And that's it. You're all set to start sharing your prototypes.